I came here looking for a story, looking for a chance, a chance to prove myself as a journalist. They told me to follow my roots. Maybe I could find it in the oldest house in Jonesboro. I hadn't been home in so long. It felt strange coming home and even stranger when I walked in the door. So many ideas, so many stories. Each little thing I saw had its own history. If only they could talk to me and tell me about the past. My dearest Clements. My dear sister Clements, how is your home? I pray God brings forth wellness and peace. The homestead is empty here. My husband and eldest son have gone off to battle. I tend to the farm each day, take care of my children without the help of another. I admit the loneliness is crippling. The heat and the sun do not help. After making the meals, working the land, all I want to do is rest. But my work is never done. I must protect my family, my children from the savage natives in this area. I face raids every other day their attempts to take my food and my home come in the most untimely part of my routine. Why, just yesterday I had to stand my ground and fire my husband's old musket at the feet of a native to show them that I will protect this home. I hope. Unfortunately, my legacy has been wiped from the face of the state of Franklin without my consent. The land that I have donated under the name of Tiptonville has been altered to sport the name Elizabethton. This change has been made under the leadership of my foe, whom I defeated a mere 10 years ago in the Battle of Franklin. Although I was victorious back then, the name Landon Carter will shine due to the political power of my foe, and Tiptonville will be nothing but a mystery.
Nan Yi Hai earned the title of Beloved Woman of the Cherokee. She was a warrior and a peacemaker. She proposed treaties with the settlers, one of the few women who had that power. This has to be fair for all of us. She helped American fighters during the Revolutionary War. She was a leader of her people. Let us all vote now on this new territory that we have fought for. These are the nominations for the name of this land. Franklin, West Carolina, Franklin and Hot Dogville. Tipton, why would you do this to me? Let's have a vote. Yes, that sounds like a great idea. Franklin, West Carolina, Franklin. Looks like it's Franklin. Yes, we will name this land after Benjamin Franklin. Hip hip huzzah! Hip hip huzzah! Hip hip huzzah! The lost state of Franklin. I found it. Some of it. Through bits and pieces they left behind. Together, they tell the bigger story each individual life leading to what would be. The state of Franklin was lost to time, but not memory. In its place, a new state, filled with independent thinkers, each one adding generation to generation to the story of Tennessee. Even my story is part of it now. <laughs>